Welcome to the Open Dental Auto Notes webinar. Open Dental has highly customizable auto notes that make electronic note taking fast and easy. In this webinar, we'll be going over creating auto note folders, creating a new auto note, adding and editing available prompts, and using your auto note. Before we start creating our auto note, we will first create some folders. Those will be located in Setup, Definitions, and Auto Note Categories. To add in a folder, we'll click Add, we'll give it a name, say Exams, and OK. You can also add in more specific folders or categories. To do that, we'll click Add. Let's say we want to add in some exams for the doctor. We can assign this to the parent category of exams. To do that, we'll click these ellipses over here and select exams. Okay, creates that folder. We'll go ahead and create one more for the hygienist. Again, we'll add it to the parent category of exams. While in here, we can also rearrange as needed or we can alphabetize them as well. Go ahead and close out. Now that we've created our folders, we can go in and create our auto note. To do that, that's going to be in Setup and Auto Notes. We'll highlight our category and we'll click Add. We'll go ahead and give this a name of LM Exam. This text area is what is going to be in your final note in the actual procedure. We do have some default available prompts. For our exam, we'll go ahead and add in vitals. We can highlight our available prompt and insert. Hit enter to add a new line. We're also going to be adding in allergies. And medications. We can also add in our own prompts. To do that, we'll click on Add in the upper right corner here. And there's three different types of prompts. There is text, which will allow the note taker to type in their response. We have one response, which will allow the note taker to select a single option from a list of possible responses. We also have multi response, which allows the note taker to select multiple items from your list of possible responses. The prompt text is going to be the question that we are going to read before we answer. The first prompt we'll add is going to be a text prompt. We'll give it a description of date of follow up appointment. Again, our prompt text is going to be the question that's being asked. That's all that's needed for text prompts. Let's do want to add in a default text, text that's going to be there when they're going in to enter in their answer. I'm going to leave it blank for now and we'll take a look at what that looks like when we create our actual auto note. So we'll say OK to create that prompt. We'll go ahead and add in another prompt. This one's going to be a one response. Our description is going to be referral source. Again, what question we're asking. What is their referral source? With one response and multi responses, we can add in possible responses that they can click on. So the first option is going to be radio, could be a current patient, perhaps another office. We'll say OK to create that prompt. Go ahead and add in one more. And this one is going to be a multi response. For our description, we're going to give this one at home dental care. All right. Our possible responses for at home dental care are going to be brushing, flossing, and using a water pick. Say OK to create that response. So now we'll go ahead and finish up our auto note. 
we'll add in what is their referral source. We'll click our prompt that we made and insert. Add in date of follow-up appointment. Insert that one. And finally, at home dental care. Perfect, so we finished creating our auto note. We can also edit available prompts. To do that, we can double click on our prompt can add in a line. I'm going to add moderate here. You can also rearrange or take away anything if needed. I'm going to say okay to make that change. We'll go ahead and add in pain as well. Perfect. To create our auto note and finish it up, we'll say okay. You can see here that the auto note is created. Now let's move into using that auto note. To use the auto note we created, we can come into the chart module, double click on our procedure, and we'll click auto note here above the note section. We can highlight the auto note we want to use and click insert. For vitals, this is going to be a text type, so we can add in free text. Make any options, we can remove prompts, as well as skipping any. We can go ahead and skip this for now. and finish up our auto note taking and we'll say okay. After we say okay, we can still make any changes and free type in here anywhere. So say you want to add in the current patient, say Sally is our refer. If we need to come back to these notes at a later time, we can add in double quotes. It's going to mark this note as incomplete. We do have a report we can run to be able to come back to these notes that are incomplete. If we are complete, we'll go ahead and have the provider sign. They can sign by either using a Topaz signature pad, they can click and drag, or they can sign electronically by, click by clicking this E here. Say OK to create that note. You can see the note is listed under the procedure here, and it's marked as signed. If any changes are needed after the note is finished, we can always double click back into our procedure, make any changes. However, you will notice that the signature disappears. So any changes that are made are going to require another signature. Again, we can sign with Topaz signature pad, clicking and dragging, or electronically. To access the report that shows your incomplete auto notes, that's going to be in reports and standard can be under our daily section here. Check out the link in the description for more details on that report and other resources with auto notes. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.